the end. We reached the end. We reached the end. We reached the end. We reached the end. We are now at the last and final step of consistency. And that is, drum roll please. <laughs> visuals. Visuals, visuals, visuals. You want to make your goals as physical and tangible as possible. This is going to help you reach your goal of whatever it is that you want to do as far as your next step towards healing. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I have lying around the house, in my room, in my bathroom, on my desk, that I look at every single day. I have no choice because when I open my eyes, it's right there. This is going to help you be consistent because you're going to constantly have a physical self-reminder of why you're doing what you're doing. Some For some of us, it's our kids, which I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> They're right there. Other people have other things that motivate them. Of course, my baby motivates me, but there are a plethora of things that motivate me to be consistent, to get to a place of healing so that I can be as creative and productive as possible to reach my goals. You have seen this in a previous video. If you haven't watched that video, you're more than welcome to check that out. It's my vision board video. But here you will see a display. Okay, some of these things on this board I have already achieved. Yay! <laughs> but you're gonna see I am constantly looking at the things that I aspire for, the things that I want, the things that I'm working on. Okay, this vision board sits right, right by my window. So when I open my eyes, right before I close my eyes, I'm looking at this. And do I, can I say it helps? Absolutely, because like I said, there are a couple of things on this board that have already been accomplished. Next thing that you could do, as I stated in the previous video, you can just grab you a regular piece of paper and either write down what you want or your affirmations or your to-do list, or you can type it up. It looks a lot neater this way. But here I have what I affirm every day. After I get done meditating and praying, I say my affirmations, I say them out loud, I say them in the mirror. I've just started back doing this about three days ago and I've seen such a difference in my mood and my um, energy since then. And this is also my to-do list, okay? So these are things that I wanna accomplish but I haven't placed on my calendar yet. So I typed it up on a piece of paper and I have my to-do list right here. Keep these things visible. And of course, if you have some sticky notes, I used to do that faithfully. I would take my sticky notes and put my affirmations on them. And then I would stick them to the mirror in my bathroom. So when I got up to brush my teeth or wash my face, there were my affirmations right there. There were my goals right there in front of me. So I have no choice but to constantly be reminded that I have a reason to be consistent. One of the toughest things is realizing, coming into awareness that you may not be as consistent as you thought you were. You think that you're eating clean. You think that you're exercising as diligently as you're supposed to. You assume that you're getting enough rest. You think that you're being a nice person, but then you come to find out that you're really not. And really, it comes from either you being able to observe yourself and come to that awareness, or somebody else is going to come along and they are going to bring you to that awareness. But it's okay, because once you figure out that you're not consistent, all you do is use the tools that I gave you. They're just three simple steps, okay? Use those tools and after a week or two, and you do it consistently every day, I promise you, you're gonna look up and be like, oh, I've been working out 30 days straight, maybe like two or three days off, right? Oh my gosh, I've been eating clean this whole week. Wow, I actually got my recordings done for the next few days, like, what? <laughs> you're gonna start to notice that the things that are on your mind, guys, we think about how we want our life to be all the time. We daydream about it, we fantasize about it. 
that's on our brain 24 7 where could i be right now what could i be doing with myself right now and this is how you work towards those things make it into reality i highly encourage you to apply the abc's which is come on say it with me awareness balance and consistency apply it to your life right now today choose an area in your life that you promise to be dedicated that you're aware that you need some help with and be consistent with balancing it out and I want to hear your results I want you to reach out to me either in any of my videos you can comment below visit my Instagram page at her name is Sid or you can go to my Facebook it's public Sydney Parson and reach out to me there and share with me your experience after using these tools and taking these steps towards a better you. I pray a healing over each and every one of you watching this video, that you are able to achieve whatever goal and aspiration that you have in your life. And if you can't do it by yourself, if you know any better, and you know that you cannot do it alone, ask God to help. I promise you, God will respond. It may not be right away. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. I'm telling you, I got some testimonies for y'all. And they coming. You got this. I'm here. You're going to take a walk. I love you. Peace.